G'day everybody, welcome to Lawn Point. It's Matthew Dorm here. Let's get your lawn on. Back from our little jaunt over the weekend. It's the 2nd of April here, and I'm gonna do my week one application today, which is launch and root builder, 100 mils of each per the 100 square meters. The temperature, as you can see with the clouds today, it is cooler and autumn is definitely here now, that's for sure. So I've got a week of uh, mid to like medium high 20s. What's really good about that time of year is that you can do your application if it's not too windy throughout the whole day. That's what I really like about autumn. Let's have a look at the lawn. Let's see where we're at with that. So the lawn's looking fabulous. I haven't mowed it. Remember four days ago I did my day one treatment of April, even though it wasn't April. But we had a little bit of a going away for a few days, so I thought I'd knock that on the head. It's all looking pretty reasonable. It's a bit of scuffing just over here, just over here. Last mow I did, I did three different directions. Well, it's a little bit chopped up. I'm not gonna mow today, I'm just gonna treat with launch, and launch is a balanced MPK. Fantastic food for repair and condition. Plus it's also got kelp for the root zone. And I'm also doing root builder 100 mil per 100 square meters. That is the best kelp for the roots by far. And I've popped in there also 10 mils of Hero, which is a humic acid just to help it get into the plant. And hopefully make it pop a bit. And my battery has died on my big sprayer that I usually use on here. No problem, I'm gonna use the capital sprayer and these are really good sprayers they're like they're like a hundred dollars uh, you can get them on the tool room get them other places as well now it's not the quality of like a solo or sylvan or something like that um, it definitely isn't up those qualities but you get some nozzles with that and it does the job really and why well, i prefer backpack sprayers that aren't electric is because you can just quite easily Use this handle to get it going. You can always depend on a backpack sprayer. That's a pump like this one. So 100 mils launch, 100 mils root builder, 10 mils hero. The launch is a balanced MPK with added kelp. That's a top to toe feed for this, that's for sure. And it'll give it a balanced MPK feed and the kelp for the root zone. I've also got root builder 100 mils in there for the 100 square meters and that is for the root zone. It's a fantastic product that one. So over repeated use over a couple of seasons you know you'll get just much more massive roots. Lots of fibrous roots and uh, the better your roots the better your plant is. So the other thing I've got in this is a flat fan nozzle and the flat fan's a bit easier to make a more even application. So that's what's good about these sprays as well, as it comes with that. Now I've also got 10 mils of Hero in this mix and it makes the mix brown, but it really does get that uh, product of launch and root beer into the plant, just that little bit more easy really makes it pop so I've been experimenting with it a bit just adding small amounts of humic acid to my applications and it really is good but I've said it quite often don't overdo, overdo your humic acid At the start of the month I have it as a soil soak 100 mils humic acid along with some moist to get it in there condition your soil helps microbial activity but Humic being used this way as part of a foliar application is just to help the plant accept the nutrients better. And if you're adding nutrients into your mix, which I've done with launch, obviously, it just gets in there that little bit better. And the next day, it'll pop. Really is quite amazing to see. Now a good thing to do as well is practice with a known amount of water in your sprayer. Go over your area and see how many litres you use. I sort of didn't do that. I guesstimated it. I guesstimated eight litres. 
see how I go in a minute, but if I've got some extra, it means I've undersprayed a bit. If I went over it too uh, and didn't have enough to do the spraying, I would have oversprayed. But that's okay. Still got quite a bit there. It's a bit hard to see, but that says four litres. So I had eight litres before. So rather than waste that product, what I might do is I might bring, I might put another two litres in it, and that way I'll get another pass. But in future, I'll know that I need to do 12 litres, what, sorry, 10 litres for two passes rather than eight. So I've got the filter basket here, all the water goes through the filter basket. Sunlight. So I'm going to give this a shake. You know, I've gone mostly up and down, up and down, up and down. My second spray, I'm going to do in a different direction, side to side to side to side. All right, now I'm doing the other direction, up and down. And I am just going to do it facing this way. So I'm facing the camera. I can sort of get away with it by putting the wand behind where I step. It's the part next to the fence there. So obviously this is a slightly less of a solution because of that extra couple of litres of water in there, but at least I'm getting all my product down. Now the thing is, with this, like, if it did rain within an hour or so, it doesn't matter. Remember that you don't water this in. It becomes a soil soak rather than a foliar feed. It only takes a couple of hours for it to sort of get into the system of the leaf. And it takes about six hours to go right through the whole system of the plant. When to mow? Well, probably wouldn't need to mow till tomorrow. You've got to give it at least six hours before you do a mow. But, you know, I like to let it breathe, give it a day. I am going to have to mow tomorrow because I'm going to be busy for the next few days. But yeah, this lawn is in fantastic condition going into the cooler months. Just where I want it, you know. About four hours after that treatment on the same day, it uh, was looking really great and it's just setting the house off really nicely. The next day was even better and this was after a 13 mil mo uh, edge and a bit of attention to detail and it's just really looking the beans nice and tight there. Love a good edge and it just is popping. It really is really impressed. Foliar feeding is fast. It just works very very quickly. The cool thing as well about foliar feeds and what I really love about it is once you spray it, that's it, you're done. Weeks worth of lawn care done. Five minutes spraying the lawn. How easy is that? I'm really looking forward to the autumn season. It's one of my favorite times of year. Yeah, it just gets a different look to it and it's quite interesting watching the change. Compared to my condition two weeks ago, it's starting to go down a little bit and I think a bit of a tap on the bum there for not doing uh, my uh, application last time of charger. I probably really should have done that. Um, it would have made my uh, areas that I scalp that little bit come back just that little bit quicker. You know, the condition's not bad, but yeah. It's just dropped that little bit. Something that you just gotta accept with the cooler months is that's not gonna look as good as it does through the, you know, mid spring through the summertime. It just gets a different look. It starts going to sleep. You know, if you keep it tidy and just grow that little bit longer uh, throughout the season, like, you know, mows now are once a week. Um, soon that's, that'll be once, once a fortnight, going into May, uh, June, you know, once a fortnight, July, once a month, August, once or twice a month maybe. And that's the good thing about warm season grass throughout the uh, winter months as well, is that you don't have to fuss over it so much. So just grow with that little bit of extra length. Um, the less you do to it, the better it is for it really. So um, watering as well, I should talk about that. That's uh, once a week for me now. Uh, just on a Monday, it gets an hour's worth of water. That's it. And that'll last it for the week. I've got some robot 
mower stuff to do now for my next few videos so I better get stuck into doing that and I'll catch you in the next video. Get your lawn on. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that. Good on you. See you later.